Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling, how they may be viewing you, and any possible action that they may take towards you. We're also going to see what lessons need or needed to be learned from this connection, and we're going to get as much advice from spirit as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. Ooh, all right. Ooh, we've got the devil coming out, Capricorn energy. That's your person. All right. <clears throat> They're viewing you as the Six of Wands, all right? So they're seeing you get a lot of attention here, Pisces. But their possible future action is the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this person may continue to kind of obsess about you but bury their head in the sand. It looks like they're not ready to take any action. We do have the Knight of Swords coming in, so you may get some sort of communication, but I would be very careful here, okay? Because I do feel like this devil is quite nasty looking. And he's holding this big, like, I guess it's like a mace, I think is what they call it. I kind of feel like this person, I don't know, this person may sort of take passive aggressive action towards you in the sense that they might send you messages or they might like your photos or they might even leave like snide comments. I, I'd be very careful here because I'm not loving this energy. It almost feels like with the Ace of Wands there, they want to they knock you down a peg here, Pisces, with whatever communication that might come in. But let's see. The devil energy tells me it is possible this is toxic situation or that this person is in a very unhealthy state. All right, and we get the 10 of swords. Wow, this person is angry. They're resentful over this painful ending. I'd be very careful here with this energy, Pisces. I'm picking up on some red flags really early on. Double devil energy. Now Capricorns get a bad rap for being represented by the devil, but look at this person. They've got lots of negative attachments. They could have vices. Uh, I kind of feel too, this person may have been a bit of a player, Pisces, and I don't know, they've got lots of deep, dark shadow energy around them. So really, really big heads up and warning here. And it, it does feel like they might reach out, but it might be like a scathing message, or like I said, it might be passive aggressive communication. They're seeing you getting a lot of attention, and I can tell you that they're very triggered by this, Pisces. All right, we see the High Priestess in reverse. Wow, this person is definitely checking you out. They're probably using false accounts. They're checking in with friends and family. I feel like this person is absolutely obsessed with you, Pisces, but it's like they don't want you to, they don't want you to move on, but they also, like, they don't want to see you successful is what I'm getting. This person, I'm getting like a misery loves company energy with this person. Be very, very careful. Major red flags. And we see the four of pentacles. This person is holding on to you, but they also really want to hold you back from success, from moving on. I don't like giving really negative readings like this, Pisces, but this is absolutely a major warning about this person. This person has that devil energy they're distorted masculine and or feminine their energy is very distorted it's very dark um i don't i don't like this person's energy whatsoever that that i'm picking up on ace of wands in reverse tells me that they're not really going to take action it's like they might send you a message probably to like keep you like to keep the cord open between the two of you but the chariot card, but they don't plan on moving forward. But the, this is a shadow aspect of Cancerian energy. And as you know, I'm a Cancer, so I have free reign to, <laughs> to say what I need to say about Cancers. The shadow attribute of Cancer energy is not only moody and clingy, but it also can be quite possessive. So I'm getting major, major red flags here. This is also a very manipulative energy and the King of Swords. This person is going to communicate with you, but I don't feel like it's going to be healthy. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile. I don't think it's even for your highest and greatest good. And I'm, I'm never really a proponent, Pisces, of like blocking someone, but I feel like you may need to really block this person. Knight of Cups, you're dealing with someone who's a player. You're dealing with somebody that wants to be indulged. If things aren't working out for them, they're going to definitely try to come back towards you, but it doesn't feel like they can offer you what you need and definitely doesn't feel like they can offer you a healthy Healthy, uh, healthy relationship. All right, so let's see what this person would like to say to you at the ego level. I can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, this person's definitely obsessed. They don't want to let you go. They can't let you go. 
they do want to heal things but it's like they almost don't know like a healthy way to do that and I don't I don't want to know yeah this person's jealous AF Pisces all right I can't be with you right I want to make amends but I can't be with you it's like but I don't want you to be with anybody else big red flags Pisces please make sure that you're safe please I feel very you know that this person has potential like they're giving off like super stalker vibes and it's like they can't be with you they can't offer you what you need but it's like they don't want you to be with anybody else and that to me is like dangerous emotional territory their higher self or their future self says I should have listened to my intuition all right and I have not given up on you even though it may seem like it so it feels like this person probably runs really hot and cold Pisces I'm not loving this energy at all. It feels like a major roller coaster you've been on. I regret my past mistakes and wish I have, could have another chance with you. Yeah, but the, see this person, they're not changing, they're not evolving, they're not doing the work. And one day I believe we will be together again. Yeah, they do truly think that, they do truly believe that. But Pisces, um, this is like, this This energy is really not not cool, not good. All right, so I know that I know it's a negative read, but I can't change the messages that come out, and somebody absolutely needs to hear this. Okay, so let's see what are the messages that need or needed to be learned here. Clear messages and guidance for my Pisces regarding this connection. Guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering the situation. But I feel like this person, especially with the Knight of Cups in reverse, they feel bad about mistreating you. They feel bad about overstepping their boundaries, but they don't take action to change or to prevent that from happening in the future. Okay? <clears throat> and important dream messages are being given, so please pay attention to your dreams here, Pisces. And yeah, this is the energy I'm getting. One party benefits while the other is depleted. You're being depleted by this person's energy, Pisces. I see it. You may, some of you may need to do some cord cutting, some energy work here. Repairing your auric field. Energy support and empathy are not equal. Give and take needs to become balanced. And I feel like you find that balance on your own, Pisces. Betrayal. Trust this part of your journey. Understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity. Yeah, so this is a very, very tough karmic lesson, Pisces, but the messages couldn't be more clear. All right, I'm sending you all so much love and light. I know this isn't easy, this hasn't been easy. It feels like quite the roller coaster. It's very karmic. Let's see what final messages come through. I am going to read from the book. This is the Night Fairy Oracle. It's a new oracle deck. Let's see what, what messages Spirit has for you. We get the Fay of Wonder. Hmm. I, I like the sort of Alice in Wonderland vibes here. All right. The Fay of Wonder invites us to go down the rabbit hole and then dive further down some more. With childlike exuberance and never-ending amazement at even the simple things in life, the Fae of Wonder calls us to explore the spirit of wonder and childlike amusement in our lives. Yeah, and I feel like that's been robbed. You've been robbed of that here with this connection. This card especially calls us to remember a time when the world was so much smaller, so new, with so much more to learn. Guess what? Fortunately, that time can still exist, but we must open our hearts and take notes from the Fae of Wonder. How can you create more wonder in your life today? How, much, how can you bring back that joy in your life, Pisces? Because I feel like this is really heavy. This is really dark energy that you've been dealing with. And I know it's not going to resonate with all of you, but I do know somebody out there needs to hear this. And remember your power to say no or to walk away at any time and to please keep yourself safe, okay? So I'm going to leave it here, Pisces. I'm sending you, I just got full body chills. I'm sending you lots of love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Pisces. Take care.